seven more hours. Well, I had a, uh, a 3D print going off today. Welcome to Coffee and Tools. And that 3D print is not going to be ready for another day or so, so we'll have to do it, I don't know, next week, maybe during the contest giveaway part. In the meantime, <clears throat> uh, today I decided to work on something, and I'll show you the pot. I've already done the lid, so we'll take a look at the pot right now first, just to show you what I'm working on. Uh, I've been told not to do this. It doesn't work, or I don't know, there's various reasons, I guess, why I wouldn't do it or something, but I was told, yeah, you not to do it. And of course, I have to do that, right? So here's here's what I here's what I was told not to do. We went to a yard sale a few weeks ago, and I found this really cool uh, cast iron pan, and I thought it was really neat because it's got these little feet on it. It's not like something I've never seen. <laughs> I've seen them in uh, cowboy movies. I think it was chuck wagons or something at the back of uh, Rawhide or something. But uh, you can see it's it's totally rusted up. Pretty, it's not as bad as I thought. The lid sitting on top was really bad. It, the lid, the whole lid looked like you know this uh, nasty brown stuff. So um, I've decided I have a sandblaster. Why can't we sandblast? I'm told not to do it. So yeah, today we're going to sandblast this and see how it turns out. <laughs> okay, this this is the weapon of choice for a sandblaster and these things are nasty so I put this one on a on a desk with the shelves and I put it on wheels so I can wheel it out to the driveway and use it out there and hopefully it's a sort of a breezy day and you get upwind of this thing so any sand leakage coming out of this thing will blow away from you because and I also wear a dust mask uh, these are just nasty and this is from uh, Atlas Tool Company uh, I was talking to a gentleman last night he has one from Harbor Freight, and he has the exact same issue. So I'm not going to blame the tool company. I'm just going to say, in general, these are a pretty rough, you know, pretty raunchy machine. And this one here is a small one, but it'll easily uh, do that uh, pan. And I'm going to film a little bit of it with you and show you what's going on. Uh, it's going to be more like a recreation because I don't want, obviously, I don't want a camera in here. <laughs> with a sandblaster. I can't afford that hobby. <laughs> so we'll do kind of a recreation thing with uh, a camera and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it turns out pretty decent. Meantime, I'm going to show you the lid. I wished I had taken a picture of this lid before I did this, but there's the cast iron finish of the lid. And I sandblasted it yesterday. And this thing was looked like just one big piece of brown chocolate cake kind of thing. You almost couldn't even tell there was a handle here and it was just covered in rust. Now, this is only part of the process, obviously. The other thing I have to do is probably uh, uh, put some uh, vegetable oil on it, uh, put it in the bake, you know, in the baking oven or something and bake it for a couple of hours or something to get all the uh, oil and finish and everything locked back into it and that way, and then season it, uh, of course, and this thing will, you know, store good after that. I think cast iron cookware, I just kind of like it. It's, it's, it's kind of cool. It's just something different, I guess. I didn't grow up with cast iron, really. It was We were part of that, uh, I think, aluminum pots and pans and whatever back in, you know, the good old days. But this is uh, this has turned out so well. You can even see the 12 inch thing. You couldn't even read that the other day. When I, when I got this from the yard sale, the lady was so disgusted with it. She was like, you know, for a dollar or whatever, you just get it out of here. So. There you go. Now it looks like almost a brand new one. <laughs> I'll show you how amazing this thing is. Here's a rusted, you know, rusty old cast iron pan. We'll put it here in the machine. And just close the lid like that. You know, shake it around a little bit. Open it back up. Oh man, look at that. Well, okay, it's a little bit smaller now, but uh, look at that, it's beautiful. It's nice and clean, all, all shined up.
So I wish you could actually see this, but uh, I'm going to close this up and we're going to hit this and also wear a cowboy hat in Texas so the sun still, the sun doesn't burn my ears while I'm out here under the under the sun but I want to make a, a few passes with it and we'll see what we get now the other problem uh, that you have with these is that once you start that dust flying around you really can't see you know it's it's just a, a gray cloud in there right now so you kind of have to feel your way around Look at that stuff coming off the back of my machine. See that? You, you don't want to be breathing that. So I do not use this indoors or inside the garage or anywhere around machinery or anything. I don't want dust flying. So I like to be outside here in a nice breeze like today. This is perfect for, you know, for what we're going to do here. And we're going to try to knock some of this uh, rust off this thing. The other thing too is uh, sometimes the she kind of quits and then she starts again. Uh, I have had a lot of trouble with getting uh, different types of uh, sand through this. I found the fine sand works the best. It just goes through the machine a lot easier. So let's see how we're doing here. I got my rubber gloves on. Uh, I've got the pan set up on an angle, so I'm just doing like a quarter, a corner of the, the pan right now, just to sort of, well, so you guys can get an idea as to, you know, what a, what one of these machines can do. They're, they're pretty neat for, for getting stuff out. If you, need, if you got rust and metal, this is the way to do it. <laughs> All right, now, if you've ever watched the TV show, uh, The Monsters, when Grandpa comes out of the uh, lab underneath, yeah, yeah, so this was in real time by the way too. I didn't speed the film up or anything, so I'm just going to show you what I've got so far. And that's what it looks like, so, and that was with just, just now with just me just hitting it with a sandblaster. And look at that cast iron, it is cleaning it up awesome. So we'll do the uh, top and the bottom, we'll do the whole pan, and then we'll bake it with some uh, vegetable oil on it, whatever afterwards to, and then we'll season the pan stuff like that so a couple of hours later uh, this is what I've got and like I said this is the the lid which we've already seen but uh, that pan that you saw that was all rusted and everything I mean there it is there I think that looks terrific I think that looks absolutely awesome and there's there's the bottom you know and it just I think it looks like a brand new cast iron pan so I'm real happy with it they say not to do it I don't know why but when they tell me not to do something, you know me, I got to do it. So <laughs> thank you for watching Cocking Tools this week. We uh, did this. I actually had a 3D printer in mind, but the 3D job is 13 hours plus, and we're still waiting. And the first print failed, so we're on to the second print. So I guess we could say we're into 26 hours, and we're still trying to get this piece made that uh, I'll show you. It's one of my, uh, I guess we'll call them another uh, invention for a car, always coming up with something. The uh, cast iron was just something that happened in the last few weeks and thought, guys, if you've ever uh, thought about getting a sandblaster, <clears throat> it is a nasty piece of equipment. It's great, it does a wonderful job, but it's uh, just a nasty thing to work with. And if you're aware of everything, you're gonna have to deal with it. Put it on wheels, stick it out in the driveway somewhere on a windy day, get downwind of it, use it, you know, or up, excuse me, get upwind of it, yeah. Get upwind of it, have it downwind of you, <laughs> and, and that way all that nasty stuff can you know blow off. Maybe hopefully at the neighbor's house, right? You know, sometimes that's a win. <laughs> Please like, share, subscribe, <laughs> more content, more prizes and stuff coming. Uh, hopefully tomorrow uh, we'll be doing a quick video and uh, on that uh, the winner for the sprint, and we'll get that sprint thing on its way to whoever is going to win it. We'll find out. In the meantime, have a great week, guys, and adios.